Welcome back to Just Talking. We got a great show here today because we are, it's our Halloween special and we couldn't do it without the one NLA Dr. Destruction. Boy, and we're at Jerry Smith's Pumpkin Farm, packed to the max here. Uh, how's it been all uh, October? Well, it's been packed to the max. Uh, a lot of ghoulies coming through, enjoying the Haunted Manor and uh, everything else that goes on at Jerry Smith's Pumpkin Farm. How'd you get, get involved with Jerry Smith's Pumpkin Farm? Uh, I walked into the store one day and asked Rosemary Smith for a job painting that it was it yeah then I met Jerry and one thing led to another and uh, ended up haunting the haunted bus which is still uh, in the haunted manor completely remodeled this year we had Racine Paranormal come out and do an investigation and they couldn't get anything on their devices because the batteries uh, went dead right away yeah for those who haven't been through the year uh, is it a haunted maze is it a haunted manor let's hear all about it well it's really all about the haunted manor but there's trails there's three haunted buses the haunted house uh, the butcher room and then what uh, the chainsaw clown insanity yeah um, and then let's talk about you were just recently in the milwaukee magazine uh, let's hear all about that uh, Milwaukee Magazine did an uh, uh, article about horror hosts in the area, which all seemed to be from Kenosha. And uh, it was an interesting article. I got some pictures taken. Uh, we got to see, you know, the, the Wolfman. Uh, well, we didn't get to see the Wolfman. Needed a picture of the Wolfman. But, uh, uh, you know, ironically, they all came from Kenosha. I think they were kind of wondering why that was. And I would probably say because we have probably one of the best access stations in the country. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about your show, Dr. Destru Destruction's Crimson Theater. What's that show about? Oh, well, it's just pretty much uh, hosting horror movies, roasting the movie sometimes, sometimes praising the movie, sometimes roasting local politicians. There's a lot of material to work with there. Come on. I mean, we could have a whole chapter on Alderman. What type of movies do you show on your show? Well, a lot of public domain horror films or uh, silent films. Uh, we look for the better ones or talk about those at least. Uh, uh, a lot of times, you know, we'd like to show uh, Dracula with Bela Lugosi, and we can't show that, but we can show White Zombie, which opens the door for us to talk about Bela Lugosi and what a great actor he was. He was. I mean, look at his body of work and just the different characters he did. Uh, what was so special about his performance? Oh, I think he was just a, you know, he, he was a great actor. He actually ran away from home at the age of 16 to become an actor because his dad didn't want him to do that. And uh, uh, he became the actor. He did everything on the stage in, in uh, uh, Budapest and, and in Hungary and then worked his way to the United States where he ended up in Hollywood and then pursued uh, acting. And he really lobbied hard for the part of Dracula, which is pretty interesting considering Every kid you know will do Bela Lugosi if asked to do Dracula. Uh, ironically, they also do Frankenstein is also Bela Lugosi because what does every kid do? He puts his arms out, and that was from uh, Bela Lugosi's performance as Frankenstein. Which was odd because they say everybody knows him as Dracula, but really he only played it twice, the original and Abbott Costello Meet Frankenstein. The original Frank and, uh, and, and uh, Abbott Costello Meet Frankenstein, but uh, they kept casting him in roles where he pretty much was yeah, Dracula sure. anyway. Yeah. And then he ended up in, in the end with uh, Ed Wood, which still remains to this day. Well, you know, a lot of people criticize uh, what happened with Ed Wood. I mean, he put him in those movies to use his name and whatnot, but it gave Bela Lugosi uh, ability to act. And no matter how uh, low budget or bad the film was, uh, Bela Lugosi always gave it a, a first rate of performance, yes. And uh, we always do an update of Godzilla. Uh, do you think Japan's ready for another Godzilla? I hope I'm ready for another Godzilla from Japan. Uh, yeah, uh, it's going to have to wait. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm ready for another Godzilla film, um, certainly. But uh, uh, and Godzilla too. Perhaps, perhaps. Um, okay, it's so the Halloween season. Uh, what's so special about Halloween this? Uh, I don't know. It's just because it's uh, people are getting out and enjoying life a little bit uh, some more right now. And, uh, uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? Every Halloween should be great. And it's always great to see people doing their front yard displays and becoming creative during the holiday. And like we said in previous years, drive slow if you're out driving uh, through so that there's kids. Well, during trick-or-treat hours, yeah, drive slow. I mean, you're slowing down for the turkey. Slow down for the kids. Any other party words before we go or anything about the show you, you want to plug? Uh, just let you know, uh, we're back on Channel 14. That's uh, Crimson Theaters on 9 p.m. Saturday. 
3 o'clock on Tuesday, and of course, uh, uh, midnight on Friday. You can always catch Nightmare Cinema with the Wolfman and Hex and Arcane with uh, Celeste and uh, Morgan. Yes, I should know that. I'm on the spot here, but check it out. Support local access television. Well, with that, thank you so much, Dr. Destruction. You got a great crowd here, and thanks so much for telling us today.